Okay, hi. I'm not having a super big intro for this or whatever, but Nina, this is for you since it's long overdue um, and anyone else that wants to watch it really. I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial <laughs> because a little lore, a little lore for you guys out there. Because when I was first setting up VC homies, that role, um, People thought at first that it meant, oh, I'm going to be streaming makeup tutorials in the Discord. Not really realizing that it meant, no, if I miss a stream, I will probably do a makeup version of that stream in the Discord. <laughs> Does that make sense? I feel like, I feel like I'm not making any sense. But anyway, so we joked a lot like, oh, okay, Indy, you should do a makeup tutorial. So it's here. It's, it's happening. Um, so yeah, that that's what we're gonna do. This tutorial will be for mainly for hooded eyes, especially when we get to the the eyelid part with um, eyeliner and eyeshadow and whatnot. Uh, if you don't have hooded eyes, you could still follow it technically, um, but it won't be as bold as you might want because again, uh, people that use this have hooded eyes like myself, and we just have to come up with creative ways to you know, put makeup on her eyes and make it stand out as with as much little space on our eyelids as we have. So anyway, let's get into this. So first of all, you can do a skincare routine before that. That's totally okay. I didn't do anything before um, I'm doing this, which I probably should, but again, it's up to you. If you want to know my skincare routine, just let me know um, and I, I will try to make a video on that too. So because it's like three to five minutes long. Anyway, I'm getting on a tan tangent. So, first thing that I do when I do makeup is I use this thing. It's very cute. It's a little panda. Um, it's called Brightening Eye Base, Panda's Dream. And it's from Tony Moly, or Tony Moly. Um, it's a Korean brand, basically. Uh, if you just search exactly what I said that this is up online, you'll find it. Ulta carries it, Sephora. I don't know if Sephora carries it. They might. But again, it's Korean beauty. If if you need me to, like, if you want any of these products and you want to get them for yourself and you can't find them online, just let me know. I will pull up the link for you. It's totally okay. Don't worry. So I use this thing to cheat a little bit. <laughs> Actually, my eyes on camera don't look that bad, but I swear in person they're a lot more dark right now. Um, so basically you take this, this is what it looks like, and you put this under your eye, like that. And it's going to help so much with the foundation base or concealer base, depending on what you want to use when we get to that part. I need to use this. This is so scuffed, I'm sorry. So just like two times under the eyes. And now it looks like I look crazy. <laughs> One second. I have war paint on. So, when you do that, you just literally rub it in and try to blend it. Make sure it looks good and that there's not just like random white cream sitting on your face still. Again, I need to look at this because I am trying to look over here in the, um, the camera viewfinder. But this, it's too hard. I can't do that, so I have to use this mirror. Uh, so yeah, once that's done, that's all you need to do. You can put it up here if you want to. I'm not going to because I don't feel like it, but <laughs> if you feel like your eyelid space is very dark and you want to brighten that up a bit, you can definitely use this in that area too. Um, so right now, it'll look like a bit white, but that's why we're going to take our foundation or your concealer, depending on which one you want to use. I personally use a foundation, a powder foundation, because it is a bit lighter. It gives you light to medium coverage. And I don't feel like my under eyes are that dark to warrant concealer every day. Again, this is, we're doing more like everyday, more glam kind of look right now. Um, so yeah, this, this is what I use personally if I'm just like, okay, I want a good amount of coverage that still looks natural. I don't want anything that looks um, like I'm going out on a night on the town. Uh, but if that works for you, totally okay. Don't worry. So this is Bare Minerals, Bare Pro. I think I got this like two years ago. <laughs> uh, I have the color Light Natural 09. And this is like kind of what it looks like. 
Let me open it. It's like a peach, a neutral peach kind of undertone, so not too yellow or warm, not too cool or pink. It's just neutral kind of peach, yellow and pink undertone. Um, so yeah, now we're gonna take this. I forgot what it was called. I'm just gonna call it the puff. We're gonna take the puff. <laughs> And then we're going to pat under our eyes. And you'll notice if you have the brightening eye cream that the foundation catches to it under your eyes much better than it would if you don't have the cream there. And it does look a bit brighter, which is very good if you're going for a more natural look, but like also you do want to cover up a bit of those under eye circles. So yeah. Um... Let me finish this, and why don't I just talk about myself as I finish this a little bit, because who else am I going to talk about? I'm the only one here. <laughs> um, but yeah, my my day's been going good so far. Um, I was very tired. I worked until like 3 at 3 a.m. last night. Uh, well, I didn't work till 3 a.m. I just, I worked till 2 a.m., and then I didn't go to sleep until 3 a.m., because I had a voiceover project due, and thankfully I got that all done before the deadline, which was like, I had six hours to complete it at 2 a.m. <laughs> so I'm glad I could get that done. And also, I feel like I've been in a performing mood lately. Like, I just want to go out and kind of sing in front of an audience. I don't know why, but that's kind of just the feeling that I get. Like, I want to do that. I don't know. It kind of sounds exhilarating. <laughs> but anyway, so now that I'm done with that... Again, if you want, you can put this powder over your eyes, too. Uh, just be wary that if you do do that, your eyelashes will probably turn uh, the color that your foundation is a little bit. But that's okay if you plan on using mascara or anything. Um, which I will. I just, I don't think I need it right now. So, that is the first part. Uh, again, if you're not too confident with... Your makeup skills with your eyes and you're like worried that oh I'm gonna get a lot of fallout with the powder underneath my eyes or like what if I mess up my eyeliner and I have to go in and like undo it if that's the case uh, then I do recommend putting on the powder after you're done with the eyes but this is the order that I do it in um, so no worries if that's what you prefer all right so that is the base um, now we're going to move into the eyeliner is what I'll do next. Um, I'm also gonna be getting up and down constantly in this video because my makeup's all the way in that closet over there and I don't wanna bring it all out right here because it's a lot. <laughs> and so I'm gonna be getting up and down constantly throughout this video, but it's okay, just bear with me, bear with me. This is not, this is not some perfect thing. All right, so we're gonna move on to the eyes. Why don't we? And I already have, I already have my eye shadow stuff over there. I just need to go after these up there. I should have planned this out more thoroughly before I started, but that's okay. This is all done on a whim. Also, you like my outfit? <laughs> it's nothing great right now. I, I know. I, you should expect more of me from my fashion choices, but today I was like, I don't feel like looking all good and ready. I just want to put something on and relax. <laughs> My sleep has been all over the place. So <laughs> this is what I wore. Um, but yeah, anyway, so now that we have that, uh, comes the toughest part for me personally, because I have to do my eyeliner with this mirror <laughs> and I'm not used to that. So let me move the mic right here. All right. So I'm going to do eyeliner first and not eyeshadow because I find when I do eyeshadow first and then eyeliner, it's really hard for my eyeliner to look dark on my eyes. I feel like it catches to the powder and it doesn't look that good. Also, I know my skills with eyeliner are not as great as my eyeshadow. Not saying my eyeshadow skills are good, but <laughs> you, you get the point. Um, so yeah, if I mess with my eyeliner, I can literally just go back in and erase it and then I won't have to erase the eyeshadow on top of it and redo all that again. So yeah, I like to do eyeliner first. So if mistakes are made, I can just fix it up and then 
I can put the eyeshadow over it again. And then, like, let's say I think that the, the eyeshadow, not eyeshadow, I, the eyeliner looks too light now. Well, I already made a pattern on there, so all I have to do is just go back over it and no harm, no foul. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Um, the brush I use, actually, I don't use a felt tip eyeliner brush or anything like that. I use one of these things. Um... I don't exactly know what it's called. Oh, okay, this is from e.l.f. It's called the Small Angled Brush, um, which if you wanna buy one of these e.l.f. brushes, they're literally like, I don't know, $2 each. <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Um, they're very cheap, very affordable, so these are good brushes if you want something like that. Uh, not only are these, this brush, not only is this brush good for eyes, uh, but it could also be good for a lip brush if you wanna use that as well. Uh, anyway. So, the eyeliner that I use, since I don't use felt tip, is I use gel eyeliner, um, which is a lot better if you have oily eyelids or if you have more oily or wet skin, because um, it sticks. And this one sticks pretty good throughout the day. Then again, if you, you know, don't really have oily eyelids and it's pretty dry, you can pretty much use whatever you want and it won't smudge. But this, this is, does a pretty good job of not smudging and staying in place. So, this is the NYX, or NYX, whatever you want to call it. NYX Professional Makeup Gel Eyeliner in Dark Brown. Um, I prefer using eyeliner in dark brown colors rather than black because I want to go for something more natural. So, dark brown is always a great go-to if you're not looking for anything bold um, and more natural. If you want to use black again, please be my guest. Use black. Uh, I just I like to say black if I'm trying to go for more dramatic or bold looks. And dark brown is definitely for more soft, natural, everyday kind of things. Then again, these are my opinions. You don't have to follow them exactly. <laughs> so I take the small angled brush. I get a little bit on there, just a little bit. I don't want to overdo it at first. Because at least if you have a little bit, you can always build up if you need to. If you have too much, you gotta go in. You gotta go get more products to get rid of that. So, here's what I do. For my hooded eyes, you can see if I come a little bit closer. You can see that they go pretty far down. The, the eye fold at this part. The crease, that's what it's called. I'm a native English speaker. <laughs> anyway, so the crease goes pretty far down. So, wing liners are generally not an option for me. Um, I can do them, but it takes a lot of work and it's just a whole ass process. It's a whole ass process that is not easy. <laughs> and so I do this little trick for cheating it, I guess. And it's a more natural look. So I take this brush and I put it right at the corner I like put it right at the corner, wing it out downward following my eye shape, and then like stop at the halfway point, sometimes even less than that. And you'll see, I, I got this idea from the Ujjang, Ujjang Korean trend of makeup like two years ago again. It's been a while since I followed Korean beauty trends, but yeah, that's where I got it from. Again, it's called Ujjang. If you want to look that up, it's U-L-Z-Z-A-N-G. Um, which you should be able to find it. Again, if you can't DM me, I can type it out for you. But that you should be able to find it, just that. Uh, anyway, so this is how it should look. Sorry if the mirror blocks this a little bit because I need to see to do this. So I take the angled brush and you can see I put it like right where the crease starts. And I just go. And I keep stabbing myself in the eye, but that's okay. That's natural. That's part of the process. <laughs> it's part of the whole process of being someone who wears makeup. That, that's just, just gotta deal with it. Anyway, so for this part, I'm not gonna talk that much because obviously I have my hand resting on my chin to do it. So for now, enjoy the music. <laughs> and I'll try to hurry this as fast as I can.
All right, you can see that a little bit, this eye. It's very subtle. Again, it's very subtle, but it definitely gets the trick done. And it makes your eyes pop a bit more, and they just look more soft and glamorous. I don't know if glamorous is the right word, but they look soft, they look really pretty, and I personally really like it. Uh, so let's finish up both these eyes, because I want a bit darker, a bit more thick, or just a little bit. So let's do that, why don't we? I don't actually know this song, I'm just improvising. Alright, can you see the difference? If I do this, this is the eye that was just done. This is the eye that was it. You can tell a little, it's subtle, again, very subtle, but there's a difference. <laughs> and you'll notice it much more in person, trust me. This camera has a fisheye effect, so <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. Um, I literally got help for it, and they know who they are. They literally helped me, <laughs> and we could not figure it out. I'm just like, okay, I guess that's just how it is, so yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Anyway. Let's get more and do the other eye, why don't we? And again, just start where the crease ends. And take that and go across. Because that's always a good reference point of where you should be about. And if you want, wing it out as far as you want. And if you make a little mistake, as you can see what I'm doing, just just rub it down. Nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened at all. But yeah, just starting where the crease ends is a very good reference point. Um, especially if you're not exactly too familiar with how makeup works or not too familiar with where exactly to place your eyeliner, where you like it best. So that's why I recommend there. Um, of course, you can place it lower if you want. You can make it go a bit more downward, like that. Again, look up Ulchang Korean Makeup Trend and you'll get a lot of different styles that deal with the same exact thing I just did. Um, you know, just some do it more down, some do it a bit more up. Some do it in the middle, neutral. You'll see. So, now that we're done with that, can you see the difference? There we go. Also, if you wanna put more right in the corner, right here or underneath, you can go for it. For the sake of this video, I am not. But, you know, sometimes when I'm like, I want a bit more, I'll do a little bit more. So yeah, uh, next we're going to do eyeshadow now that we're done with the eyeliner. So this is my Tartus Pro eyeshadow palette. Um, it's very expensive. <laughs> so please, if you do not have this, I do not recommend going out and buying it just for the sake of following this makeup tutorial. It's seriously not necessary. You can find a lot more palettes or colors that are about the same for a fraction of the cost. Don't do what I did. I was I was a dumb teenager and thought that I needed everything that influencers gave to me. This is like around 2016. You don't need it. <laughs> so, this is Tardis Pro by Tarte. If you want it, it's, if you want it, again, I don't recommend it. It's like about $69 US dollars, I think. Which I'm sure it's a lot more in overseas. So, <laughs> please. Um, but so it comes with all these colors. As you can see, they're very pretty, usually more everyday kind of looks, at least the ones that I choose. And then also has glitters right here, like a more gold, and then more like a white kind of glitter, purple, and then blue. And then you can see they all, I just hit the mic, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm a mess. Okay, so, as you can see, like the bottom row corresponds to these, you could do, and so on and so forth. Or you can literally just do whatever the hell you want, which is usually what I do. So, this is what we're going to do. 
For hooded eyes, we're going to take this brush, which it's just the e.l.f. blending brush, I'm pretty sure it's called. Very cheap. Again, like two, three dollars, something like that. So we're going to take the blending brush and we're going to choose the color. Let's go for a more, um, maybe like more of a pinkish look. So I'm going to take, what is it called? I'm going to take bold, this color right here. Let me put it closer. Oh, this camera right here, this color right here. I'm going to take that color. It's like a pinkish brown kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And the camera is inverted. I'm so sorry. So I had to look to make sure that this was all right. So I'm going to take this and this is what we do for hooded eyes. Uh, we're just going to take it right at the edge and just pat it down like this. We could bring it out a little bit. Again, my eye space, there's, there's hardly any room to work with, as you can see. So I kind of just hover it in one area. Um, and then once I get, I, once I feel like there's a good enough amount in a certain area, then I start to actually blend it towards a little bit inwards at the top and maybe a little bit more outwards. Uh, just so it's not so harsh, if that makes sense. But again, if you already have an idea in mind, please go for it. Wow, we hit the minor. I would have never guessed. In a waltz song? Psh, not in mine. <laughs> so, let me bring this a bit down more. I don't like how round it looks. And there's also a lot of different techniques you can do with eyeshadow. Like, let's say you want to have more of a cat eye look. Uh, I know how to do that. Again, if you want a tutorial on that. I'm just here to teach. Honestly, if you want a tutorial on any of this, I, I know too much for my own good. So, let me know. If you want more of a round eye look, I could kind of do that. Although, I don't experiment with that too much. So, I, I don't know if I'm your girl for that one. But yeah, makeup can definitely transform your face a good amount. So let's take this side now and begin doing the same thing to this eye. Da -da -da. Wasn't this from Pokemon Sapphire? Wait. Yes, Lily Cove City, I remember, see? I know stuff. <laughs> I remember video game stuff. So yeah, pat this down. Kind of want it more right in this area. And the reason why we do the eyeshadow more towards the end and bring it up is because since we don't have that much lid space to work with, um, really the only way for our eyeshadow to be seen is more off to the side. And... Doing this helps our eyes not just be pulled heavily in the center, like if we were to just put it all right here. And it helps, like, bring it out. You know, it helps bring it out, makes it a bit more uplifted and lively. And so that's why we do that. Um, again, Styles Berry. I'm trying to be very, like, I just want you all to know, makeup is makeup. If you're having fun with a certain style, even if it's something that I say, oh, don't do this, don't do that, go for it. Who cares? If it makes you feel confident, go for it. You do you, and that's all that matters. <laughs> so don't even worry about it. Anyway. So I feel like that's a bit good. Let's see, what does the camera think? Camera, do you agree? Is that good? Not really. I have the artist eye. I know, I know. I see. I know what I need to do. Don't worry. Is that good now? Okay. Oh, this is Breath of the Wild! Hell yeah! Da da. This video is not going to have any edits either. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm not 
I'm not willing to go in and do that. <laughs> I already have a lot of editing work I have to do on the side, so. So yeah, as you can see, looks pretty good, looks pretty nice. Um, and then, now that we did that color, I'm going to take this gray. As you can see, this, oh, right here, this gray. It's called Profesh. And what we want to do for eyeshadow is we usually want to do the lighter colors on the outside. So like if we were to do a gradient, lighter colors outside. And then the more we go in towards the eye, the colors want to get darker and darker and darker. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And especially like the nearest to your eye, uh, especially in like the corner of it right here, you should have it the darkest. You should. Hmm. But sometimes, you can just be wacky. Be wacky, bruv. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I'm going to put this, like, more right here at an angle. As if I was doing a, a winged eyeliner kind of thing. And this time I'm not using the blending brush. I'm using the Eyeshadow C brush from e.l.f. And it's more flat and more dense and thicker than the blending brush. So I'm going to take that and put it right here. I don't know where, what to call that area, but I'm putting it right there. Do, 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 do. And then take more of that. And just do the same other side. And it's okay, it's completely okay if they're not exactly perfectly matching. Your eyes come in different shapes and sizes. This eye is not perfectly identical to this eye, nor will it ever be, but I can try my best to make it look the same. But please do not worry if they're not identical. They're sisters, not twins. And that's the beauty of it. And I say that because I know I used to struggle a lot with that sentiment when I was younger, because I thought everything that I put on my face had to be perfect because I was like, how can these influencers do all these beautiful artwork on their eyes and they're so symmetrical and perfect and like they just look so flawless. A few tips for you. There's things called post editing. They have filters for their skin. Um, there's Facetune. Their eyes are just as sisters as ours are too. <laughs> It's really not perfect. They're human just like us. And it's is kind of sad that they don't really show that. In one in one breath I get it's an art form. In the other breath it I recognize it's very hurtful for younger younger generations if they're not being open and honest about oh this we use filters and we don't normalize just looking human <laughs> and not like some fantasy IMVU or sim sim character so I, I just have to put that out there too so that's what I'm going to do with the shadow how do I look <laughs> and then once we're done with that we're going to take the blending brush again um, and we're just going to blend it out so it's not the lines are not so harsh and just softly blend it out. You don't you don't need to go in there and go like, wee. You don't need to do that. <laughs> don't do that. Just soft, soft strokes. And that should do the trick. Soft strokes out. You could do a bit in too if you want, but generally out. Um, and sometimes I like to take the blending brush and go in my crease and just blend those two together up and down like this. There you go. The same over here. Again, wish I was better with my eyeshadow skills, but I just do what I do. <laughs> I know I'm not the best, but I try. That's all that matters. 
Okay. Some days... Some days I feel like, oh, my makeup skills are just very good. Other days it's just like, eh. Oh well. I tried my best. <laughs> Today's definitely one of those days. But, anyway. Um, if you do have a spot that you feel like is kind of a bit odd, like as you can see right here, I'm not a big fan of this line. Uh, you could just take the color that we used in the beginning and just kind of go over that. You see? And it helps mute it just a little bit. So, that's good enough. <laughs> and then, I'm going to add some glitter. Uh, so I'm going to add the color... Let's go with gold. Actually, no, let's go with this white. Let's go with this white right here. It's called Glam. As you can see. It's like, it's like a beige kind of creamy champagne kind of white. So, and then for hooded eyes, I like to put it right here, more towards the corner, and like in the middle, just a little bit. I feel like, I feel like light colors or glitter goes really well right in this area of your eye because it makes it stand out. It makes it, um, it makes use of the little space you have with something kind of bold and in your face. Uh, and shiny, and I just, I think it's very beautiful. So yeah, glitter in any of this area, always a good idea. And then same thing over here. Um, and especially if you struggle with... If you struggle with the intensity of the, the glitter and like let's say you want more than what's showing up on your eye, what you can always do is get setting spray and you could spray your brush and then go into the glitter and that will make it more bright and more bold because the setting spray will catch more of the glitter for you. Also if you feel like it's very hard to blend on your eye with just foundation or with no foundation there at all, primer. Eye primer will help your eyeshadow from not smudging or not catching to certain places and not others. So those are good recommendations for that. But this is just, again, what I use for everyday uh, wear. But if you want to go something more glamorous, definitely, definitely go with those options. Um, so yeah, that is eyes. And then next, we're not technically, we're not technically done with eyes yet. Now I'm going to get some mascara and blush. And so let me take all these things. Get up, go get that. Be right back. One second. Oh, I almost stop. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, by the way, I literally have an AirPod in because I'm listening. I'm listening to different music in my ear right now. While I have this music playing in the background and I'm like listening to myself talk to. Uh, I'm a great multitasker, it's fine. So anyway, we are moving on to mascara. This mascara is honestly probably one of my favorites I tried in terms of, you know, keeping a curl because I've always struggled with um, mascara is giving me a curl and making it stay. I know I do have longer eyelashes, but usually the ones that I've used, like Maybelline, L'Oreal, and such like, such like that, they really don't do much for me, I notice. So, this mascara is from Japan. It's called Heroin Make, a uh, long and curl mascara, super waterproof. It's very good. Again, if you want the link for that, I'll, I'll definitely let you know just dm me i think it was like how much was this was it like 12 dollars? i don't know something like that and it really holds a curl it's very waterproof my only complaint with it is that it's very hard to wash off if you want to wash this off you cannot use water of course since it is waterproof you will have to use an oil uh such as an oil based cleanser or like bomb oil is that what it's called something like that so it's definitely hard to get off, but 
If you don't really care about that, you care about the curl, you care about the staying power, this one. I, I recommend this one. So, we take this, and you see the brush is kind of... Hold on. I can't be a beauty YouTuber this hard. It's kind of curved a little bit. It's, the camera's not really picking it up, but it is curved a little bit. So let me just take this, and let me go at it. Move this hair out of the way, too. Da, 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 da. I thought I'd be able to talk more while doing this, but I realize it's so hard to talk when you're putting on makeup. <laughs> so my apologies. I'm glad I thought of the music idea. Look at that. Wow. Uh, make sure you don't close your eyes, though, because it is wet. Don't sneeze either. I've done that once. It was awful. <laughs> I feel like that's good enough. Um, as you can see, my eyes are a bit more darkened and they're a bit more curly now. Nice. If you want to also put on fake eyelashes, you can. I'm not really a fan of that for everyday use, but again, like I keep saying in this video, if you want to do it, you can. Um, next we're going to move on to cheeks. So I have the Petty Peta uh, blush in Rose. This is again Korean makeup. Um, and I just got it, I just got it like this week, I haven't used it yet, so I'm very curious, this is the color, and it says, it's okay, you already shine, very nice, and I think this was like, uh, eight, five dollars, something like that, so let's try this, why don't we, it's not, it's not shiny at all, it's matte, and so let's see, for, uh, for blush, I like to put it like, right here on my face because I do have a rounder face so putting blush right here on the apples of my cheeks doesn't end well usually it makes my face look a bit more chubbier and whatnot and it kind of drags it down so I like to put it right here to give me more uplifted cheekbone kind of look so let's do that I'm doing this from the viewfinder this is a very scary idea <laughs> Let's bring it in a bit more. Looks fine. I have to look down, I'm so sorry. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. And we just like need two dabs, nothing insane. If you wanna do that just to like tap off the excess, do that too. Sorry, that's my phone. <laughs> Ignore that. And yeah. God, that's a lot. <laughs> if it's too much, you can always just go back over with your foundation, especially your powder foundation, and just kind of tap it in there. So yeah, that's, that's the blush. I'm just gonna blend it out a bit because I think that's a bit too much, but that was my fault. I'm not used to this blush yet. But in time, in time I'll get used to it. So, okay, now that we're done with that, you could also technically do eyebrows if you want. Make sure you, you trim them if you want a particular shape. My my shape is more like straight with an angle. Again, that's from the Ujjang trend in Korea a few years ago. Just a little bit, little bit inspiration there. Um, and then I'm going to take this. I put it back. I'm dumb. I'm going to take my foundation and I'm going to get lipstick. I'm going to pat down this area because I know I kind of get pimples right there and they tend to scar a bit. Um, thanks skin. Thank you genetics. <laughs> Thank you for laying that curse upon me. And then I'm going to get a nice lip tint and I, that will be it for the makeup tutorial. So uno momento, por favor. Da -da. I keep getting up and down a lot. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to mention, if you want to add highlighter, things like that, 
be my guest. I usually don't put on highlighter for everyday stuff. Sometimes. Sometimes if I feel like it, if I want to be a bit more... Ooh, look at me. But I don't... For the most part, I don't feel like it. <laughs> um, how long is this video? It's already 40 minutes. Jesus, my bad. Uh, so we're gonna take this foundation again. And we're gonna put it right here. Where my scar is. And I pray that it goes away one day. <laughs> I really pray. Doo -doo. And this is probably a good time to mention. You should put your foundation anywhere you feel like you have. Anywhere you feel like your skin's not exactly the same color. If you want to. If not, embrace it. You're fine. Well, that's, this is just what I'm gonna do. Okay. There we go. And then the lip tint I got is Water Light Tint. Um, in the color RD03. Made in Korea. What does it say? Sapsal... Sapsalum? Am I reading this right? S Sapsalum... Han... Hanjang... Me. Hunch of me. That sound. I don't. I don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what brand was this from again? A pew. A pew. Or a pew. My Korean's very rusty. <laughs> Besides, I can only read it. I don't really know full-on words or phrases. So, this is the color. It's very pretty. And we're just gonna put that right here. Bum, bum, bum. And it looks very messy, but one second. I have to look at the mirror to do this. I can't do it with the viewfinder. Okay. All right. And then I like to I like to take my finger and kind of blend it out because I don't like I don't like my lips too bold. I like I like the boldness of the color to be in the middle. Those are called gradient lips, by the way. But I I like it to be in the middle and then just gets lighter as it goes out. So like sometimes I'll use this color in the middle and then like I'll get a light pink lipstick and kind of put that on the side and just like blend that together. Or sometimes in fall, I'll get, I'll get like a red, and then like get a very dark kind of purple color, and I'll I'll use those two, and it looks really nice, honestly. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I personally really like it. Okay. And so this is the finished look. Wow. 43 minutes later. I'm so sorry this took forever. Oh, also a good trick for lipstick. If you want to make sure it doesn't get on your teeth, you literally just do this. BuzzFeed taught me that like five years ago. It works though. It works. Um, so let me like take this off so you can like actually see a bit more. You see? Looks really nice. I think it looks nice. Um, but yeah. Also, my hair is very frizzy right now because I... I got out of the shower, like, a few hours ago. It's still wet. And I didn't... And then I, I went outside and then, like, it's humid, so it's all frizzy right now. And it's like... <laughs> Mexican hair. Um, but yeah. That's how it looks. Just everyday makeup wear. So yeah. Um, again, if you want to know the brands I use, if you want to buy them yourself, please just DM me. I'll give you the link if you want it to. Um, and if you want more tutorials, I guess, <laughs> like a skincare, a skincare routine that I do, sure, I'll, I'll try. It won't be as long as this one. I pray to God it won't. I'm so sorry, again, this one was super long. 
But yeah, there's no cuts. This is just it. And um, hope you enjoy. Hope you find it useful. If you need me to explain further on any techniques, I will be more than happy to do so. So yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>